Like, uh, I overheard you say, you know, this is the first time uh, you've had a chance to come to these events. Yeah. Do you like having to schmooze with us uh, and ask answer non-baseball questions? What, you mean like earlier today? <laughs> yeah. No, that was fine. I mean, it's kind of part of it. You guys have a job to do, and the interview process comes with a uniform. So um, I had like two years of a break from it, so I got a little bit of time to make up with you guys. So it was totally fine. I, I'm ex just excited to be back and blessed, honestly. Just grateful to have an opportunity again. So there's this narrative going around that the Dodgers are the villains of Major League Baseball, that they're bad for baseball because they're spending so much money, they're getting all these players. We talked to the fans, the fans love it. They said, yeah, we want to be the villains. Let us be the villains. Do you guys view yourself as villains? And if you did... Is it, is it a bad thing that ownership wants to invest in a good product for fans? I mean, I mean, sure, yeah, people hated the Yankees way back because they opened their pocketbook and then people were like, oh, you know, the Mets with their new owner, Cohn. It's like, are they upset or is it like, hey, you want to have premium talent? And, you know, like, they're business people. They're not making dumb decisions. Other people were willing to bid the same amount on the, on the players that they had, and they chose the Dodgers because it's a winning culture. And there's other cultures that are winning too, but, like, there's just something special about being a Dodger. Not to take away from other organizations, but those players chose here, so it looks like we're the villains because we're the ones that get these guys, right? I haven't heard that narrative yet, but if you're saying it, this is just my assumption. So, um, if it was somebody else that got, you know, these premium players, would they then be the villains? I think it more or less breeds probably jealousy as a fan base. Like, people are just upset that their team didn't get them. And that's fair, because who wouldn't want these guys on their team? Um, Shohei deferred $68 million. Now, you mean 680? Or 680. Yeah. 68 would be great. Yeah, 68 over 10, uh, yeah. 10 years is 680. You're right. Yeah, there we go. So... When you heard that news, I know he's a unicorn and he can go ahead and do that. But does that, you know, we talked about it with James Altman and he's like, he was pumped when he heard because the message he got there was, let's do this. I'm, I want to win at all costs. I'm willing to sacrifice. I mean, I think it's just an all around smart decision. You get to have more players around you and then you can defer your money to, you know, wherever you want. So it's all around smart decision. Helps helps the organization, helps him be on a team with products and he's not the one handcuffing the rest. So yeah, it's a great decision. I think it's really I think it shows uh, his selflessness. So absolutely. Thank you very much. No Good luck tonight.